after being a retirement advisor for over 20 years and helping guide hundreds of families into retirement, one of the key observations that I've made is there's never a perfect time to retire. And there's a phrase on the money management side of my business that says, Wall Street climbs a wall of worry. And what that means is essentially there's always something to worry about. And it's the same thing on the retirement side, the advising side is there really is always something to worry about. And recently a viewer sent me this chart that I'll put up here that shows that there's a record number of retirees. Two million more people are retiring a month than what the Federal Reserve would predict based on their model. Is that a good thing and what does it mean to you? Let's go for a walk. So I'll just cut right to the chase and I'll say, way to go. Way to go, America. Go, America. I think anything that encourages people to retire sooner rather than later is probably a good thing. Now, some people might be saying, hey, Astool, maybe they're not taking all the factors into consideration. And you want to make a thoughtful and deliberate decision because for many of us, the decision to retire is kind of a one-way door, at least a one-way door out of our old job. And there is some, there is a lot of truth to that. For a lot of folks watching this video, once you decide to retire, you know, you're probably one of the more highly compensated people in your company because you're older, you've been there, you've been in the industry for a long time. So once you leave, it's unlikely that you're going to be able to go back and make the kind of pay that you were. But, you know, while that door might be a one-way door, there are other doors that are open to you. So let me get back to my statement. In general, I think anything that encourages people to retire sooner rather than later is a good thing because there's just so many forces that are holding us in our job that are keeping us from taking full advantage of the youth of our senior years. And one of those things that hold people back is just the fear of what's going to happen in the stock market. Maybe you've got $700,000. Maybe you've got a million dollars. Maybe you've got one and a half million dollars. You know, what happens if another great financial crisis happens? Or what happens if there's something like COVID that happens again? And this time, you know, with the governments do to, to prop up the economy? What if that doesn't work? What happens if there's another recession? Like I said, what happens if China invades Taiwan, right? These are all bad things that could happen. What if that $1.5 million gets cut down to a million dollars? But I think there's ways to protect you. There's ways that you can retire and have comfort that the likelihood of you succeeding, the likelihood of you achieving your goals is very high. You know, people like me, we do something in a retirement plan called the Monte Carlo simulation, where we're trying to stimulate many, many different outcomes. And as a retirement advisor, as somebody that does this professionally, now this is not financial advice for you, but for my clients, I want my clients to have a 90%, a 95%, a 97% likelihood of never running out of money. But you know, let's say we do 100 simulations. That's the three worst cases, right? If it's a 97% likelihood of never running out of money. You know, out of that 100 simulations, Simulations, there's there's 50 where people are going to die with millions of dollars, right? So half of the cases, right? So we have that worst case scenario, but then we also have that best case scenario. And I understand why we focus too much on the downside. And the reality is, as humans, we're going to adjust. I almost think of it like an airplane, right? And it's on a glide path into a landing and you're not going to fly. If you find yourself that the market does a 30% correction when you first retire, you know, you're not going to fly that plane into the ground. You're going to make some adjustments. Maybe you take a part-time job. Maybe, you know, you rent out your house and you go to Southeast Asia and have an adventure for a year and you live in a less expensive place just for a while, just until things calm down. And most importantly, obviously I'm biased, but I think you should work with a professional as, as you're planning for retirement. And so the, the most important thing is how do you protect yourself from something scary happening? You protect yourself by planning for it today. When, as I record this, the market at an all-time high, where things are going well, where unemployment is low. There's always things to worry about. So how do you protect yourself from that? You have an asset allocation, which your stocks and your bonds are, in order to be able to survive that. And a lot of people would say, okay, I'm going to be 60% in the stock market. I'm going to be 40% in the bonds. I don't want you to do that. Instead of 60, 40, which are just numbers that really don't mean anything to you, I want you to be thinking about how many years worth of living expenses do you have in high quality, short duration bonds. Let me give you an example. I really try hard.
hard not to ever mention company names. So let's just say that you have the nation's largest retailer. Let's say you buy $100,000 of bonds from one of these nation's largest retailers. Is that company going to be around in 50 years? You know, the world changes so quickly. I really don't know. But are they going to be around in a year? Or are they going to be around in two years to pay back that bond? You know, I have a very high level of confidence that yes, they are going to be able to pay back that bond. So what do you do? Well, you have five or seven years worth of these stable, secure bonds that you're confident that you're going to get your money back and, and that's your living expenses. So, you know, even if something crazy happens, right, and the, the market tanks, I mean, clearly, if China were to invade Taiwan, think about how the world is so dependent on computer chips right now. That would have a ripple effect that could last for years. It would be very, very scary at first. But as long as you have enough money in stable, secure bonds to meet your living expenses, then you don't have to worry about it. Then you can just ride out that storm. So this article says there's more people retiring. So what does Asul think about that? I say way to go. Go America and have the courage because there's always a reason to postpone retirement. And I like to tell uh, people the four most dangerous words for a soon-to-be retiree is just one more year. And I got that. I, believe it or not, I used to be a ski instructor. I live in a ski town uh, in Utah and this way my family all got free ski passes. So your guy Asul uh, <laughs> can be frugal uh, when he has to be as well. But the three most dangerous words for the parents of a young skier of you know maybe an eight year old a 10 year old a 13 year old are follow me mom and follow me dad right down a, a black diamond slope that maybe mom and dad uh, don't have the skills to go down and so i borrow that phrase and i say you know just one more year i think those can be very expensive and very costly mistake that a lot of people are going to look back at and say you know i optimized on money i didn't optimize on my health i didn't optimize on making the most of the youth of my senior years that year that you're giving up is going to likely be your healthiest and most active year in retirement and frankly it's really really important for you because we're all under a lot of stress that we really don't feel when we're working right it's a, it's that frog in hot water and the temperature gets turned up slowly and the frog stays in that hot water and we just don't realize hey the water's getting pretty hot i need a break so that's what i think of that chart i'm saying go america go retirees i'm glad to see that more of us are retiring and that's a big number an extra two million retirees a month and hopefully that's because people are looking forward to the adventure. People are looking forward to this next chapter of your life. And a long point, I want you to think about watching this video here. Yes, retirement is an important goal and I want you to get there, but it's also important that we enjoy the journey. So whether you're three years from retirement, five years or 10 years, I want you to enjoy the journey. And that's what this video here is. These are the seven things that I want you to think about. Stop doing in your 50s and 60s in order to enjoy the journey more. I'll see you in there. Thanks for watching this one. Bye-bye.